So if you've ever driven past a construction site and seen a bunch of cranes on the site, all within very close proximity of each other, have you ever wondered to yourself, how do they get around, how do they swing and not contact? How do they not hit each other? Well, it's, uh, it's called an AMCS, and we're gonna talk a little bit about that. As you can see right there, that tower crane is totally within my swing radius. I'm about 25 feet over top of it, and I overlap him by about eight feet. But uh, yeah, let's get into that. So to begin, what is an AMCS? Before I actually get into that, let's talk a little bit about how they would determine where the cranes sit on the job site. Now first, they're going to do a job site survey. They do that nonstop, constantly, constantly surveying. They're going to determine where the specific crane is or where multiple cranes sit um, by doing a survey, latitude, longitude, I'm assuming for the most part, I'm not a surveyor, but uh, they will determine where a certain crane sits. And then let's say, for example, my crane, where my crane is going to sit. Then they'll determine the configuration of the crane as for how long the jib or the counter jib is going to be. So let's say his is 213 feet, give or take, minus 262 feet. They can look at an overhead through a CAD drawing and see that those two jibs are going to overlap at some point in time. They'll be able to determine not only that they're going to overlap, but how much they're going to overlap. Now, as far as that crane that's across from me, like I said, I overlap him by eight feet. So just, just under 10 feet. Um, as far as the height above him, I'm just around 20 to 25 feet above him. Now, being that I overlap him, um, if I was to trolley out to the tip of my jib and go into a swing, obviously my hoist line is going to hit his jib. He won't be able to hit me, but I can hit him. So how do we remedy that? Well, that uh, that's determined by the AMCS. Now, it's anti-movement or anti-moment collision system. Now, what that is, is it's a computer system, and I'll go into that in just a second, but it's a computer system that we program after the erection of the tower crane and just before we put the crane into function or if we put the crane into work. Um, how we determine that is we'll go around to very specific areas. We'll have a guy down on the ground, um, and because there's another crane involved, we'll have his bellman, and then let's say, for example, my bellman or a designated person that's down on the ground that will follow the very tip of each one of the jibs, and we will slowly come together. He will swing into me, I will swing into him. Now, granted, we're not gonna hit. I don't have my trolley all the way out there, but what we're trying to do is determine where those two tips are and then from that point, when it starts to uh, become to the point where we will connect, if by chance we were like head on or the same level, um, we'll stop it at that point, trolley out to a certain area of the jib or a certain length of the jib, mark that spot on the AMCS, and typically it's around 10 feet. So let's say for example, we trolley out to a certain part or a certain uh, length of the jib, he stops the trolley, he's gonna stop it within 10 feet of that other jib. Because again, remember, he can't hit me, but if I trolley out too far and I swing or he swings into my, uh, my radius, then he'll end up hitting my hoist lines or I'll end up hitting his jib, vice versa. So let's, uh, let me show you the computer system real quick and I'll give you a little bit uh, better idea of what I'm talking about. So here is the AMCS. Now you can see that here's my crane and these marks up here are where the limits have been set. Now, you see that crane right out there? Again, what he'll do is he'll swing over into my radius or right before my radius, we'll start, I'll point this way, he'll point coming towards me and we'll have two guys down on the ground. One is in uh, response to me, one's in communication with me, one's in communication with him. They'll stop the crane, stop me, mark, uh, I'll trolley out to a certain point so that with I'm, I'm within 10 feet of touching him. And then there is a little mouse that uh, attaches onto this and there's a configuration. We'll mark that spot and that's where the first spot is. And then we'll continue that. He'll start to swing a little bit farther over. 
I'll swing a little bit farther over, we'll get start to eventually overlap and each one of those sections is marked in this computer. And ultimately at the end, um, that is what is going to help us from uh, contacting each other. Now, as far as the AMCS goes, or even the LMI, which is the load moment indicator, um, these are only operator aids. These are not 100%. Now remember, um, as far as the modern day technology, it's very helpful, but I do not count on it 100%. Never trust, never just assume that that uh, computer system or that fault system or that uh, collision system is going to be 100% not faulty or 100% effective. Uh, you constantly, even though we have those systems in place, we still have to be very, very cautious of where we are swinging, how far our jibs are, uh, where we're picking up. Um, I do have a radio right here and I am in contact with him anytime I am faced that direction. And he is in contact with me if he's going to be swinging into my radius. And constantly, again, constantly kind of just watching. We're watching back and forth, not only watching the load and what we're doing, but we're watching to make sure that, uh, that the cranes are safe. And ultimately, if by chance that something were to go south, I don't know if you guys watch a lot of crane videos. I do. Um, and for some reason, I fall into these videos like crane catastrophes. There is nothing that happens with a crane. When it goes south, horrible, horrible things happen. And I've heard about, you know, guys coming in contact or towers coming in contact before. Now, how that occurred, I don't know. Because if, let's say for example, if I trolley out to those limits, it uh, it will stop me at like 240 feet. I can't trolley past it. It won't let me trolley past it. Now I have a 260 foot, 262 foot jib. And let's say, for example, I was starting off facing due north. I was trolleyed all the way out to 262 feet and I start to swing off to my left towards that crane. Before I got there, the system, how it's designed, the system will pick up that indicator and it will start to slow the crane down and it will stop it before I get to those limits. So that's pretty much how that works. That's how we keep from uh, hitting each other, but uh, it's also, again, it also has a lot to do with just making sure to pay attention and always being on your best game. There are no room for mistakes when it concerns cranes, heavy equipment, anything like that that could potentially kill somebody. So again, uh, I hope this was very helpful. Hopefully I didn't get too far into it, but uh, or I explained it to where you guys could understand it. But anyway, I'm going to take lunch right now and uh, relax a little bit and uh, yeah. Anyhow, I'm Dusty. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, got nothing but love and blessings for all y'all out there. And until next time, we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.